San Diego. We're in the 4640 today, headed up to an upper farm. We got the gray car on the back, and we're going to be harvesting corn today. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning. The sun just started coming up, and it's looking to be a great day. Okay, so what are we doing today? It's funny you ask, because I was just about to tell you. Uh, what we're doing today is we are up at an upper farm, and we are harvesting corn, and we're going to be putting it directly onto a semi. Now, this bin right here is full of soybeans, and the smaller one we don't really use anymore because it's been defunctional for about... I don't even know how many years now, but we haven't been using it, and it doesn't have a powered auger out, and you have to scoop it out by hand, so we haven't used it, and I'm pretty sure it has cracks in the base, but uh, the other bin has soybeans in it, so we're going to be loading corn out of here directly onto the semi. Now, the semi is supposed to be showing up around 8.30. We started uh, harvesting around 7.30 or so, and it's about 8 o'clock now just started our first strip of corn up here and we'll see where the day takes us because I'm not sure how many loads are going to be taken out or anything today. Well that was pretty quick. Now we're waiting on the semi. I'm full. Dad's down there getting a load yet. I'm not exactly sure if we'll be able to finish this entire farm today, especially since we'll be waiting on semis, but we managed to finish beans on this farm all in one day. Granted, it took until after dark and a uh, late night drive home with the tractors, but uh, we got it done. <gasps> Could it be? And... Nope. Here he comes. I'm going to have him come in, turn around so that he's facing the road and he can get out easily. Semis have weight restrictions, except in the case that they're unloading from the field. They have to go across scales on the way to the grain elevator, and if they're overloaded, uh, they will be written up, and if they go to the grain elevator and they're overloaded, they'll ask them where they're coming from. If they're unloading from a bin of any kind, then they'll be, written, they'll be given a ticket, but if they tell them that that's coming from the field, like this is, then they can haul more down there. I've seen them fill these babies full, but uh, yeah, if they go over that weight limit, then they, they're written up, but if they're going from anywhere other than the field, or if they're coming from anywhere other than the field, then they're, they're on that weight root limit restriction. I think one of the previous semi-drivers told me that they can hold about 12 to 1400 bushels on one of these semis. Now these few corn strips that are right here, I actually planted myself earlier this spring. Holy cow, whoever planted this must have been asleep. You know, they say that the zigzag pattern actually increases your yield because you get more plants per acre, right? I'm just kidding, I didn't do it that bad. Now Travis just showed up with the auger and wagons. So now we're unloading kind of quickly considering he's unloading with the auger and I'm unloading with the grain cart so we can fill up the semi pretty quick. The only part I don't like about loading semis directly out of the field is that the grain cart and the semis often have a close personal relationship. But they've never touched before and we've never, never let them touch and I prefer to keep it that way.
Now this is our last load of the day. It's only about one o'clock in the afternoon, but we've got about a half of this farm done. And the reason that we're quitting so early is because the actual grain elevator shuts down at three o'clock today. So we are quitting early and we're going to do some other small stuff. So thanks for watching guys. Be sure to check out my other videos. See you next time.